स्टूडेंट्स हमारे ऑल एज यू ऑल नो आई एम पृथ्वीराज आई एम अर एथ क्लास बायो टीचर सो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फॉलोइंग ऑल सोशल डिस्टेंस मेजर्स दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट बायोलॉजी क्लास इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल बी लर्निंग द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक कॉल्ड एज रिप्रोडक्शन ओके रिप्रोडक्शन इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट लाइफ प्रोसेस ऑफ ए ह्यूमन ऑर्गेनिज्म ओके नॉट ओनली इन ह्यूमन ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑल ऑर्गेनिज्म डू रिप्रोड्यूस सम रिप्रोड्यूस एंड एवरीबडीज रिप्रोडक्शन इज नॉट सिमिलर ओके सो रिप्रोडक्शन द वे ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट वी हैव डिवाइड एनिमल्स ऑल्सो इन डिसेवल फॉर्म्स एंड वी विल सी हाउ फार ह्यूमन हैज एकम्पलिश द आर्टिफिशियल मोड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर वी विल कवर ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स एवरी स्टफ इन साइड दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर ओके ऑन द नॉट ऑफ दैट and before i start this class i would like to tell you that we are sending you uh, digital classes as well please synchronize your digital classes along with this class the activities part which are there they will be explained you by the digital class only because the activities uh, need a uh, nice pictorial uh, repre representation and all and you will be getting nice pictorial representation in your digital classes and along with digital class you need to listen this lecture in order to clear cut in order to get the clear cut division of your uh, clear cut explanation of your chapters so on the note of that let us start this chapter speaks about reproduction what exactly means reproduction reproduction is a important life process in which an organism produces itself an organism produces itself or an organism produces a progeny of itself in order to increase its population okay in in order to send its genetic information to the upcoming upcoming generation so this is what the general view of reproduction you might have seen dogs and you might have seen puppies right you might have seen cats you might have seen kitties human babies right so they are adults they are small babies how they are produced they are produced because of reproduction in our previous classes we have already gone through our reproduction topic but in case of plants in plants we have discussed how they do reproduce asexually how they do how they do reproduce sexually and after completion of that now in eighth class we will be learning reproduction animals how reproduction is happening in case of animals so animals also do reproduce in both the processes first called asexual mode of reproduction second is called sexual mode of reproduction so i'll explain both of them okay and along with that we need to go through the human reproductive system also so before that let me give an example what here uh, two kind of animals you can find i don't have to go through your book and all you will be getting the exact explanation of your book in online uh, your uh, digital classes so let me tell you what exactly is the main gist of this particular chapter there are two kinds of animals one are oviparous and viviparous question is what are oviparous what are viviparous oviparous animals are those those who comes out of leg eggs egg those who hatch from egg all the birds reptiles right amphibians like frog and along with that fishes they all are egg laying animals those who lay eggs and from eggs from those eggs only new organisms are reproduced though they are called as oviparous what is viviparous those who reproduce young ones
दो जोड़ी प्रोड्यूस यंग वंश दे रिप्रोड्यूस डायरेक्टली द एनिमल्स दे डू नॉट कम आउट ऑफ एग ओके दे आर कॉल्ड एज विपरस होल आर विपरस ऑल मैमल्स ह्यूमंस काउस बफेलोस यू कैन टेक टाइगर्स लायंस एलिफेंट्स डॉग्स कैट्स Every mammals are example of your word. Viviparous. You got the difference between oviparous and viviparous. That is the first explanation of your uh, chapter, which is given in your book. Next is modes of reproduction. As I have explained, there are two modes by which an organism can reproduce. First one is asexual mode of reproduction. Other one is sexual mode of reproduction. What exactly is asexual mode of reproduction? Before we understand what exactly is this modes of reproduction, we need to know that we are having two types of cells. These two types of cells are called sex cells. What are they? Sex cells, or you can call them as gametes. These sex cells are called as gametes. How many types of gametes are there? Two types of gametes are there. First one is male gamete. Second one is female gamete. One is male gamete, other one is female gamete. When we speak about male gamete, male gamete is known as sperm. And female gamete is called as ovum or egg. Is that clear? Okay. In asexual reproduction. these gametes are not involved the involvement of gamete is not happening who are not involved sex cells are not involved when it is sexual reproduction two cells will be added two cells are uh, combined and after combination of these two cells you will get a zygote so that is called sexual mode of reproduction let us understand which organisms do reproduce asexually and what are those processes are called as i hope you have uh, noted everything asexual mode of reproduction first one is your body second one is your fission okay anything else is given in your book only two types of reproductions are given in your book that is budding and fission let me tell you another type The other type is regeneration. There are lot of them are there: budding, fission, regeneration, fragmentation, spore formation, parthenogenesis. Okay, lot of types are there. But I'll explain you these three in this class. Okay, first one is budding. What is budding? What is budding, students? Budding is a process in which an organism will develop a tumor-like structure. An organism will develop A small tumor-like structure. So let us understand. Let us take hydra. Suppose this is an example of hydra. Now what will happen? A small outgrowth will come out at first. Then it will look like 
exact as is there okay after some days what will happen this will cut off and it will come down and it will act as a new organism now it will grow so here what happened an outgrowth a kind of body outgrowth like a tumor came out and from that tumor like structure developed into exactly like its parent and it came out of its body and now it is acting as an organism here it is called budding this is one kind of budding other budding you can see in case of yeast you know yeast powder we all have used in making bakery cakes and all that yeast powder how it will be used suppose one yeast is there now it will produce another outgrowth it will produce another outgrowth like that this said also now after everybody are formed what will happen they all will be dispersed and each and every one will act as a new yeast each and every one of them will act as new yeast okay can you see that i hope you can see now i hope you can see right okay so this is what our body okay next let us come for fission students what exactly do you mean by fission i am not asking in the case of biological meaning in case of english meaning what do you mean by fission fission means exactly dividing into two parts fission means exactly dividing into two parts suppose this is an organism it will exactly divide into two parts right so clear cut division of any object or any uh, particular material is called fission so here what will happen some organisms are there those will distribute its body into exactly two parts and they will separate away and act they both will act as new organism eventually the parent organism is not dying there is no death for parent organism because the itself cell will be divided into two different kind of cells now those two different kind of cells will be divided into more cells this this is this will go on this will be going on okay okay let us understand how it is happening suppose there is an amoeba i hope you can see amoeba structure here it is nucleus here is the plasma membrane okay now what will happen exactly its cell division means uh, cell division will take place here what will happen two nucleus will be formed i am going below because i think sunlight reflection is coming so exactly two nucleus will be formed how this nucleus will divide and it will form two now each nucleus will take some kind of plasma membrane little bit of plasma membrane okay and they both will disintegrate after disintegration this will act as another amoeba and this particular thing will act as another amoeba so here what happened a complete amoeba was there now nucleus divided after that cytoplasm divided and they are now different kind of amoeba first nucleus then their body it will be divided so it is called fission okay next is regeneration next word we need to understand is what is regeneration students what is regeneration dekhi regeneration means suppose there is an organism suppose this is an organism i hope you cannot see here i will do it little bit down this organism suppose this organism met with an accident after meeting it is separated into various pieces this is one piece this is one piece okay this is another piece this is another piece like several pieces came out from each piece new complete organism will be generated from each piece new complete organism will be generated this kind of organisms means these are done by planarians
these are done by planarias so these are examples of your another asexual mode of reproduction called as regeneration you need to understand in asexual mode of reproduction there are no gametes which are involved in the production of new organism okay done okay in our next class we will read, uh, we will read about sexual reproduction until then bye bye